Do you want to know how to add your Instagram feed to your Shopify store? Hey guys, Happiness here. Welcome back to my channel, the best place for all Shopify tutorial, small businesses tips, as well as entrepreneurship in general. So in today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you guys how you can add your Instagram feed to your Shopify store. So basically, this will be another way for you to make that good connection between you, your products, your brand, and your customers. I'm pretty sure your customer will want to connect with you on your Instagrams or any other social media handles. But basically, today's video will be about adding your Instagram feed on your Shopify store. So make sure to stick around until the end of this tutorial so you can know how to add your Instagram feed to your Shopify store. And before I jump into this tutorial, please don't forget to give me a big, big thumbs up for today's video. Um, subscribe on my channel if you haven't done so for more tutorials like this leave me a comment down below on the comment section and let me know what you think about today's tutorial without further ado let's jump in today's tutorial so here we are on our Shopify store um, let's go and click apps so we can go and download our apps that can enable us to add um, the insta feed on our Shopify store so let's click apps and click customize your store. Now we are on our Shopify app store. The app that I'm going to use to add the InstaFeed on my Shopify store is called InstaFeed. So I'm going to type InstaFeed. And so many of them will pop up here. And most of them, they have free plans some of them they are paid so like this one they have this one has only three day free trial five day free trial and the other one says they have free plan available so what i'm looking for is the one that has like most stars and most reviews so i know what i am going to get specifically um, which is this one. It's called InstaFeed Instagram Feed. It has a free plan available and a paid file. So I'm clicking that. And as you can see, it has five star and so many reviews. I really am not going to go ahead and read the review because I know they're good. And this app is very famous and so many people are using it. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see here they have different pricing packages. There is an Insta feed, which is free. It is forever free and it supports videos and you can customize, you can do like different layout. There is a pop-up link to your Instagram and it's also available to all devices. And it doesn't matter what kind of themes you're using. This will work to all themes. And so other packages like there's the, there is an InstaFeed Pro which you're gonna have to pay four ninety nine per month, and it has some of the features which the free InstaFeed doesn't have. And there is also an advanced one which is nineteen ninety nine per month. Okay, so if you have money, you can go ahead and invest in any of either the InstaFeed Pro or an InstaFeed Plus. But I will recommend you to go and start the InstaFeed free because this is also really good, especially if you want to save money and you're on budget. It's always good to save some coins, okay? So I'm going to click add an app. Then it's going to take a little bit to load in. And then click install app. It's going to take some time. A little bit and now we are here so this is how the insta feed is looking like after you install it on your Shopify uh, basically it's gonna ask you to connect your Instagram account so click connect an Instagram account and if you logged in already on your Instagram it will technically connect it and it will ask you to allow it if you want to use 
this account as you can see here i have an account that is and i have an instagram account which is open it is an entrepreneur chick this is one of my instagram account so i am going to allow it if you don't have any instagram account open you're gonna have to put your username and password so i'm gonna click allow basically the previous account didn't had any pictures so i want to show you with another with another instagram account of mine that has pictures and content which is called status closet basically status closet is my boutique so so i'm just gonna connect this on this instagram page so i'm gonna click allow let's see what it's gonna say okay and here we are you can see it says account connected so basically my boutique store account has been connected and then the next thing we are going to add a feed title so basically in here you can type anything you want to write here let's say you can type tag us um tag us to be featured tag us to be featured okay so you can type anything you want to type on your feed title and then on the image spacing so here you have a few options to add space between images you can put 1%, 2%. I'm going to click 2%. And then you can also specify here what happens when you click on the image. Uh, so let's click on the image. Click. So you can pick either you want an open pop-up or show products or open Instagram or do nothing. So I'm just going to leave open product or show product. And on the layout, I'm going to pick a grid. And you can also specify how many rows and columns you want to be shown on your Insta feed. So if you want to have two rows, uh, so I'm just gonna click, I want to have just two rows will be enough and four columns. Or you can pick if you want three or four. So this will be your choice. So I'm just gonna pick four rows. And then once I'm done, I'm going to click save. So this will save all the work um so in order to add this on your shopify page let's go and click online store here and then we're going to the theme and then click customize and scroll all the way down and click this section that says add section okay and you'll see different section will come up go and click insta feed app so insta feed app and here we are our instagram feed has been added here and as you as you can remember on the title section i wrote tag guys to be featured so you can put any title you want as here and yeah so this is how you can add an insta feed on your shopify store once you're done don't forget to click save so all the work can be saved and you won't end up losing anything. So let's go back. Oh, let me show you the preview when we click the store. Let's see how this is going to look like. So if we scroll all the way down, look at that. Now our Insta feed is connected to our Shopify store. So when your customer goes over to your um, website, they'll be able to see also your Instagram Feeds. oh by the way this is my boutique store and i'm currently offering free shipping with code free my store's name is called status closet i'm gonna leave the link down below on the on my description anyways thank you very much guys for watching today's tutorial i hope you found these tutorials helpful if you have any questions you can leave me a comment down below and i'll be happy to answer any of your questions and don't forget to like this video, subscribe on my channel for more tutorials like this, and I'll see you guys on the next video.